Hey guys, what's shaking? Noi here. Thanks for watching my video. Really appreciate it. Um, a few months ago, I did a review um, slash my impressions of the Mobile Studio Pro 13 inch. Um, it's been great uh, to me so far. Uh, I've been kind of out of the loop um, regarding that as far as what how other people have felt about it. Um, if they've had if they've been if they've been experiencing issues with it or not. Um, for me, it's been pretty smooth. Um, outside of the uh, initial gripes that I had with it, with the heating up and the, the touch being kind of finicky and stuff like that, my unit has been pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know where it stands with other people. I'll probably pop on the internet and kind of uh, do the research um, after, the, after I do this video, probably. Um, yeah, I've, like I said before, I've done a couple jobs uh, with it already, so I think it's paid itself off pretty much. Um, and it's been it's been awesome so awesome I, I love it I think it's great um, but what I really wanted to talk about was uh, the one question that I keep getting over and over again is the stand what kind of stand like the stand that I'm using it's um I think it's amazing and um, I, I guess a lot of people happen to uh, agree with me or else they wouldn't be asking right um, but it's incredible and it's super cheap um, recently I had to give my old one to my dad because his, his laptop was heating up and I thought he could probably use it more than I could. Um, but yeah, I um, was at the uh, computer store up here in uh, in Canada. We have this um, computer chain called Canada Computers. I think it's actually in the States as well, but uh, no, it's not. It's, that's why it's called Canada Computers because it's in Canada. But anyway, it's like our biggest computer uh, store chain. Um, they're all over the place and I couldn't find a um, stand that quite lived up to the original one that I had so what I did was I, I bought it again so this is my second one and um, I'm gonna do an unboxing of it just to kind of squish that and having you know I love people asking me about it but um, you know and I have linked it in in the description but um, I'm gonna do this video so people can stop asking me about it um, I'm gonna unbox it right now all right gonna do this kind of thing Hopefully this stays there because this thing kind of my stand here kind of drops sometimes. All right, so I hope you can hear me fine. I want to be sitting further away, but it's this thing right here, and the reason why I love it so much is because you know Wacom refuses to give us a solution to this problem. Um, the stand that they have, I don't even know if they have it. I don't know if they released it or not. I kind of just got frustrated and stopped looking, but um. The one that they showed was was kind of wobbly. I know that from for the um, for the original um, Cintiq, they were kind of um, they were very um, it was very dodgy, it was very loose and wiggly and stuff like that. It wouldn't stay on properly. But um, that's why I found this thing, and it's incredible because not because it works really well, but because it's super cheap. I think it's under $20. It's it's within that impulse buy uh, bracket. I think it's worth a lot more. They could easily sell it for 40, 50 bucks, and I think it would still do very well. Um, and I just wish that a lot of people who have um, the Mobile Studio Pro knew about it because it works perfectly. And I'm gonna go through the reasons why um, I think it works perfectly. This thing is not focusing. Um, well, one thing is super cheap, right? Cheap is good, but the quality, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but definitely above $20. Um, it's got two fans, a dual fan, with a USB, it's USB powered, so what you do is you just plug this on the side of your Mobile Studio Pro, and it'll start up. And the thing I like about this USB, um, Actually, this won't work with the Mobile Studio Pro because you need an adapter. You need you need the USB-C to USB adapter, which I have, and I think which um, a lot of people have already. So it wouldn't be an issue anyway. And again, again, this my head's getting cut off, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We're really focused on this anyway. So what I like about this is that it's got a pass-through, so it doesn't really use up an extra slot. It doesn't use up an extra USB um, slot. So you plug this in the USB-C, the USB-C plugs into the Mobile Studio Pro and leaves this this part, this side open. So you can keep stacking it like that. Um, pretty awesome feature. Um, 
like I said, it comes with dual fans. I find the fan not too powerful, but you don't want it too powerful anyway because um, you're gonna get really cold, right? It's just enough to keep the, the computer um, uh, cool so that it doesn't throttle. And um, by throttling, I don't know, um, just look it up online and, and you'll know what that is. And I think a lot of people um, will run into that with the Mobile Studio Pro because it runs pretty hot. And what happens is if um, your computer runs hot, it's gonna slow down. So, this is awesome. So this just goes around like this and it just plugs into your computer like that. And, oh, dinosaur, stay up. I have way too much stuff on my desk. Um, so, I think what sets this apart um, from all the other stands that I've seen is the different levels of articulation it has. It goes up really high. So it has, you know, you can put it to there, there, all the way up to, it's got one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is the level that I use. I find it perfectly. I draw almost perfectly um, vertical. I find that's the most comfortable uh, spot. Uh, that's a sweet spot for me. And it comes with these feet that flip out like that. And your Mobile Studio Pro just rests on that. Um, another thing is the surface is big. It's just, I think, it fits the Mobile Studio Pro 13 inch perfectly fine. It's it's almost exactly the same size. I don't think it's, um, it's a bit higher, which is completely fine. Um, but I find this stand just phenomenal. And for the price, you can't go wrong. Um, so that's why I recommend it to everybody. The only knock that I would put against it is that it's it is portable but it isn't it'll never be as portable as the one that the uh that wacom supplies you with because that thing is like a, a few millimeters um and it just kind of sticks to the back of your uh, mobile studio pro so that's the only knock that i would give this um it is portable but it isn't um it's not the most portable let's just say it's about that thick what is that that's about i say that's about an inch thick and it's it's kind of big, I would say, but it fits in my backpack perfectly, and I, I use it all the time. I travel with it all the time. It's become invaluable, actually, and I think it's going to extend the life of um, of my tablet. And um, if you guys are experiencing that, that it, you know your Mobile Studio Pro is kind of lagging, that could be it. It could just be running too hot. Um, you may need something like like this um, to kind of cool it down. You know, just plug it in and the fans um, always run it always keeps it cool and it keeps it um, lag free it's from my experience anyway um, anyway that's it I just um, you know these guys should pay me because <laughs> I'm advertising like crazy for them I don't work for them or anything like that but I believe that if you have a mobile studio pro this stand is awesome and it's a um, and it's cheap you can buy it if it breaks down, you're not gonna cry about it because you you paid like sixteen dollars or whatever for it. I think I paid just a little bit north of that, maybe eighteen dollars uh, Canadian. But I'm sure, you can find it for a lot cheaper. And um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys found this valuable. And um, keep being you. Later. Bye.